Aloha loves, aloha. Let's tap into the energies of this coming full moon. Let's get a message from spirit. I already shuffled into the cards and I got hold the space and retreat and recharge. I am seeing someone's looks changing. Someone's getting older. I mean, obviously. It's like the older you get, the younger you look, is what I'm hearing. I just heard age reversal spells, which is interesting. Maybe somebody is doing that. Maybe someone is... I don't know what you're doing. Let's just get a card. Mm, lady. There she is, Venus. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. Venus and Aries. Venus and Mars. Mm. Mm. Men are from Mars and women are from Venus. That's what I just heard. And this feminine, she's here doing the picking. So what I was getting with this full moon, it being the hunter's moon, I'm seeing the feminine in this position to be the hunter. I just heard hunter gatherer. So you could be tapping into your hunter gathering skills. Maybe you're going camping or something. Wow, why is my voice doing that? <clears throat> hunter gatherer. Yours for the picking is what I'm hearing. The feminine has a lot of things. Oh my gosh, I opened it right to the page. 48, 49. It's 12, 13. 12, 13. December 13 could be significant here. Let's see. Reap what you have sown and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Grow and expand in all areas of life. The lady known as the empress in the traditional tarot, she represents the goddess in her most fertile form. She is abundant, bountiful, and a creative being. She is closely connected to nature because it is her child. She represents maternal energy and has more than enough love to give all, to all who needs nurturing. She represents the goddess Venus, too, and yearns for a rich relationship with her counterpart, the Lord. In this card, the Lord would be the emperor. In this card, she holds an apple. Its seeds form a perfect pentagram, which in paganism represents the five elements of life. Fertility, growth, and abundance are all imminent when the lady arrives in your life. All the seeds you have planted are coming to life. And there are plenty more rewards to come. In a material sense, this card can represent financial security and comfort. It shows that there will be more than enough to go around. If you're making business deals or setting intentions to create financial growth, this card indicates a considerable amount of monetary success. The lady can also usher in other forms of abundance, opportunities, marriage, proposal, and even the birth of a child. She will help you respect nature and connect with its forces in order to have a genuinely supported journey through life. Harvest. It's time to share. There's going to have more than enough to go around. So this is the season of you being really generous. You sharing your time, energy, possibly even money. You're someone that likes to help. I feel like the roles have been reversed. It's like we see the, the masculine as the hunter, right? Maybe this feminine here I'm also seeing, maybe you come from a bloodline of hunters. 
but it's like the feminine is needing to do the hunting whether this is job hunting but I keep feeling it like You've been hunting, you've been harvesting or waiting. So we got dream and journey. Let's move past this because I feel like I'm trying to dip into love. And I really don't want to make this about a relationship, to be honest. But I keep feeling the vibes. Like I've been like questioning myself a little. Like, why has this turned into a bunch of love readings? Because I've never been a reader that was focused on that, especially when it comes to a relationship. It was all about loving self. It was all about making sure your masculine and feminine energies are in balance. So what I'm actually picking up on now that I just mentioned that is maybe it's time. Maybe it's time for love for some of you. Maybe some of you have already balanced out your masculine, feminine energies. There's a perfect union here. There is this marriage that happened within. So we have the drum that came up. Yeah, I'm seeing like camping. I'm seeing a circle. I'm seeing a retreat once again. I'm seeing a campfire. I'm seeing a drum circle. I'm seeing someone host this. Maybe you're the hostess or maybe you're... <sighs> picking people to join you. Journey inwards to uncover insights and information that will be important for your path. Then follow the guidance. In shamanic traditions, all four corners of the world, the drum is recognized as the main tool used by medicine men and women to direct their will and aid meditation. A drum beat can come hypnotic, can become hypnotic and send those listening into an altered state that can allow them to journey to the spiritual realms and meet their guides. When the drum card appears in a reading, there are opportunities for you to dream or to bring an inner vision into reality. You are connected to other worlds at this time. The vision and intelligence of the earth and her magic surrounds you. The drum, which echoes the sound of Mother Earth's heartbeat, has cleared the cobwebs and dust from your inner vision. What you have seen in your dreams and inner vision is not imagination, but guidance. Particularly if you have, if it has been coming to you repeatedly and has the potential to come reality. Dreams come true. Know it and live it. Wow. This page is on 123, so I'm hearing 123 goal. Your dreams are coming true. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. Dream and journey. You're finally getting to enjoy the fruits of your labor, but also this time there's more than enough to go around. It's not the energy of having to keep it to yourself or I'm seeing like people are no longer having to have this energy of stinginess there's just enough for me there's more than enough to go around so someone here is gathering people to heal them, to put them in an altered state, a peaceful state of mind, knowing that you could be like some sort of life coach or something, allowing people to believe that their wishes can come true. That is so beautiful. Wow, and we have She-Wolf. I feel like I have to read this card too because it talks about unleashing the wild within and she is right behind the full moon look she's a hunter she just finished
So let's see what this full moon. Yeah, this is all about feminine energy. Feminines are taking charge, taking a leadership position, leading by example. She's not forcing anyone. She's showing. Let your wild side up and out. Unleash your ta talents and desires. You're being rewilded at this time. Guided to reconnect with your rebellious heart. The part of you that likes to break boundaries and go beyond them completely. If you've been holding back on your hopes and dreams, you're being encouraged to chase after them now. Let the wolf energy within you help you track down what direction you want to go in. And don't let any traps or hunters get in the way of your freedom or your growth. That's interesting, that hunter. Don't let any hunters trap you. I feel like I have to read what this message is about because I skipped that part. The she-wolf is a powerful shamanic soul who is half wolf, half woman. She is the alpha female who's not afraid to stand out from the crowd, or in this case, pack. She is wild, unfiltered, unfettered. She encourages you not to be trapped by limiting factors of weak members of the pack or those who are trying to hunt you down because you have gifts they don't like or understand. She represents the energy of wildness and the unknown and encourages you to be free and unchained and go beyond boundaries. <clears throat> Release the animal energy within and track down what you need to express your true self. So a lot of people may not like who you're becoming, who you're stepping into may not like um, that you're in your season of harvest, that you're in your season of gains. But what they don't know is these people don't know that you're a hunter. These people don't know that they're being hunted also. Is what I'm hearing. So it's time. You know the direction, you know the way. Wow. Yeah, so we have Earth Mother as well. Feel love and comfort it. And then we got Shield Maiden as well. Make plans and focus. So someone sees you. Yeah, like this gives me the vibe of don't mistake my kindness for weakness. Don't mistake my generosity for weakness. Because there are people that are coming in. <clears throat> that are really jealous. Well, they will be. I mean, I feel like they already are. Like you think you was jealous before, you think you was envious before. You were witnessing my come up. You didn't see me at the top. They thought they were hunting you, but they didn't know that they were being hunted. Okay, I'm done. I love you all. It's early in the morning. I have to get this message out. I am going to be tapping more into it. Tell me what resonates. Tell me how you're feeling during this full moon. What energies may be coming up for you. Let's talk about it. <laughs>